Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrencies for beginners. And today, man, we're going to make this a very, very short video. I just want to give an update on how you can create liquidity pools on the new updated DeFi Kingdoms map. And I know it's been a little changing around, not nothing too major. It's not too hard. It's very, very easy but it is different from when we first started so i'm gonna get into that and show you guys how you can generate more jewel and you know accumulate more jewel and also you know pretty much be early to this project because it's still early don't let nobody tell you you too late to the project hey this expansion they are doing is going to be very very crazy um, they are expanding to different chains coming very soon and it's not going to take away from jewel so every chain will have their own specific token but you have to use jewel in order to convert to that token so i'm gonna make another video going into depth on that right now i don't have much time to go into depth all the way through but just know jewel is going to continue to go on this run it's very 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 early and once it hits other blockchains i believe it will even grow bigger so this is my personal opinion and no this is not financial advice this is just my personal journey investing in cryptos and if you want to listen to what i say you can if you don't i appreciate you for tuning in man so we're going to get started today but before we do make sure you follow me on twitter like i always say this is where you get in contact with me if you got any questions this is where you hit me up man so like i said it's not gonna be a long video today so let's get into it DeFi kingdom so right now man you see I currently have 49 Jewel in my wallet. And today, man, we're going to look at the gardens. We're going to look at, you know, what pairs give us the best returns and what are their APRs. So let's go to the gardens, man. Let's look at some of these APRs. So we know harvest is where you pretty much can harvest all of your returns, man. So right now, uh, these are the current returns I got um, from the pools i already claimed it once today so i'm not going to claim it again but harvest is where you can claim your rewards from the liquidity pool you create and pretty much liquidity pool is you providing liquidity to the platform and you getting a return in that specific crypto token so say for instance if i'm providing liquidity for jewel and one then i get a return or a three digit return in jewel just because i provided liquidity to platform so let's go to the seed box and just see what's some good pools we can get involved in today so right now jewel and super is 1200 uh jewel is missus 1500 you can see that i'm in that specific pool because right now all of the four digit pools are going down like crazy man it's so much total value lock if we scroll back up we can see man we're at 399 million dollars total value lock on the project man so that's a lot of money and when you have that much money of course the aprs can't stay that high just because early users are rewarded the most so people who got in early they had this the highest aprs but it is still early because three digit aprs are still great and like i said these two uh jewel and super bid are still four digits so super jewel and super bid 1200 um jewel and miss 1500 i'm not 1500 1100 uh jewel and uh b and b uh a thousand pretty much um one in super bit a thousand jewel and rap bitcoin a thousand jewel and matic a thousand uh, so now we get into those three digit aprs and it's still 995 so that's pretty much like a thousand you know what i'm saying but you know jewel ust i'm in this specific pool as well so um today man i want to look at a four digit pool so we see all you know we got jewel ftm we got jewel busd um, Jewel One USD, I'm in that pool as well. We got Jewel Luna and Jewel Luna. Those are you know parts of the new pool. Pretty much Luna, FTM, and Avalanche are new pools on the platform, but they you know they only have three digit APRs, but three digit APRs are still high, man. Don't get that confused. Three digit APRs you can't find that in any asset class right now. And Jewel is a good project, so. I'm going to ride the wave until pretty much the APR goes down to at least two digits. And that's my personal opinion because DeFi Kingdoms is going to continue to grow. So Jewel in one, we see 832%. That was the first Jewel pool I ever, you know, pretty much got in when it first deployed. 
And then we got Jewel Avalanche 630 or 643%, 1 BUSD 253%, and, and so on and so forth. So those are the uh, pools right now. Um, But I think today, man, I want to either make a Jewel and Super Bid or a Jewel and Miss. But since right now, what I want to do is, um, since Miss is super discounted from its, uh, you know, all time high right now, I'm going to do the Jewel and Miss just because I know more about Jewel and Miss than uh, Super Bid. So, Miss, I'm more comfortable having Miss um, just in case in permanent losses occur. So, you know, Jewel is going to rise in price like crazy. Miss might rise in price too, but I would rather uh, suffer in permanent losses on the Miss just because. I'm creating Jewel, but if I have more miss in this specific liquidity pool uh, after I will draw, then it will be cool because I believe miss will continue to grow up in the long run as well. So I'm going to create a Jewel and miss pool, but before I can do that, you have to have liquidity pool tokens and how you create that, you want to go to the marketplace, man. So what you want to do, you want to go to that marketplace and you want to go to Druid. So Druid is pretty... Wait, I'm, I took a misstep. Let's rewind back one time. So since I want to do a jewel and miss liquidity pool, what I want to do is go to the trader. And then since I already have 49 jewel, I'm going to do 49 jewel. Um, and I'm going to say like, let's see, miss. I'm going to say, let's see, 15. And 15 jewel give me 85 miss. Or another way I like to do it is just do half and half. Sometimes they work, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm just going to say, let's say um, 19 uh, Jewel. So we're going to do 19 Jewel for 108 miss, man. So we want to confirm that. So it's confirmed officially now. So once you confirm that, man, you want to go back to Druid. You want to go to Druid and you want to create a pool, man. So you want to uh, just click on you know, drop the drop down and you want to click on Jewel. So since I know I got more Jewel than Miss, I'm going to do it like this. So we go to Miss, right? So if we do Max Jewel, we will actually have to have 178 Miss, but we do Max Miss and we only need 18 Jewel. So that's what I'm going to do. I did Max Miss um, and I must just hit Supply. So confirm the Supply and I now have 43 you know, tokens, click that up on MetaMask, confirm it on MetaMask, and make sure you always have Harmony One in your MetaMask wallet. I'm not sure why it does this, but it does, sometimes it doesn't allow me to show my MetaMask wallet, but no, um, just know that the MetaMask wallet is popping up. Just make sure that you have Harmony One in your wallet when you're trying to do these confirmations, because if you don't, you won't have enough gas to complete the transaction. So, I just pretty much supply, uh, I didn't supply yet, but I have uh, my liquidity pool tokens. So now what we want to do is we want to go back to the gardens, man. Go to the gardens, and then you want to go to the seed box. See, a lot of people don't understand they create the liquidity pool tokens, but never deposit their liquidity into the actual pool. So you got to actually deposit into the pool. So boom, I just created a, a liquidity pair with Jewel and Miss. So now I'm going to hit manage. And once I hit manage, you want to go down and deposit. So right now I got 80 tokens available to deposit. So I want to hit max. Then I want to uh, deposit them. And now we are done. So you can see I have 176 jewel and miss liquidity pool tokens as of right now, man. And that's how you add money to a liquidity pool. And we currently, like I said, we currently see that Jewel and Super Miss, well, I mean, I'm saying, I said Super Miss, my fault. Jewel and Miss is at 1100%, man. And now we are at 400 million total value locked. And I told you guys, I believe DeFi Kingdoms will be the first $1 billion project on Harmony One's blockchain. I'm telling you, I've been said, I said that when DeFi Kingdoms first came out, man. So I'm just, you know, like I said, this is just my opinion, but what I'm saying is happening. So you know, kind of just, you know, of course, look at it, uh, make sure you're never over investing. But this is one of my favorite plays as of right now. This is probably my favorite crypto play just moving forward. If you've watched my videos, you know how I feel about GameFi. And I believe it will bring more users into the crypto space and just absolutely make the crypto space grow, man. But, you know, other than that, 
I'm super bullish on DeFi Kingdoms. Um, it's like I said, it's just a great project and everything that they have upcoming, man. So, you know, um, if you don't know, uh, I already said it, they're going to diverse amongst chains, be a multi-chain game. Um, but you have to have Jewel to get the token on a different blockchain. So, for instance, if you wanted to uh, play on Avalanche, you will have to bridge your Jewel over from Harmony to Avalanche to get that specific token on Avalanche, man. So that's going to be major. And then every world is going to – every world or every blockchain is going to be a different world, and it's going to look different. So – it's just going to be, man, what they planning on doing, I'm super excited and super bullish on. But I'm going to make another video on it going really more in depth. But today's video, I just want to show you guys how you can make a liquidity pool on the updated DeFi Canals with the updated map. It's very simple. They just changed a small things around, nothing too major. But that's how you make a liquidity pool on DeFi Kingdoms. And that's also how you deposit your liquidity pool tokens into the actual pool. So that's my video for today, man. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I appreciate everybody who tapped in, man. And also, if I added value to you today, do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification button on too, man. We're growing the channel. I just appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. So that's my video for today. Crypto Tro, I'm out of here.